Hey guys, long time no see. Can I make up for my absence by making a bad chain video? Yeah, I don't think so. So my friend Avery tagged me in this tag 13 facts or something. Kind of ripping off five facts, but you know, whatever. Just kidding, let's get started. Number one, what do you order at Starbucks? Well, like Avery, I don't go to Starbucks. Or at least I try to avoid Starbucks is because you see, I am from Seattle. Therefore, I'm a coffee snob, and Starbucks doesn't have the best coffee. Yeah, so not Starbucks drinks, but I like vanilla lattes. One thing in your closet you can't live without, well obviously, this dress. I'm gonna take this golden opportunity to show you guys my Bellatrix Strange dress. There's a chair in my way. Yes, so this is my Bellatrix dress, and I don't know why I bought it. It's never been worn in public by me. I'm a boo. In case you can't tell. I am kidding, this is not what I can't live without in my closet. One thing most people don't know about you, well I kind of like Harry Potter, but one thing you guys don't know about is I'm going to beauty school now, learning how to cut hair. Yes. Number four, I just realized I should probably be saying the numbers. One thing you want to do before you die. I guess one thing I would really like to do before I die is go to Greece. I think it would probably be the best place in the world to travel or in. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty much safely made that assumption with my world knowledge. Number five, one food you cannot live without. I'm gonna broaden this and say cheese, and I'm gonna make it kind of a cop-out and put all cheese, like, products. Because everything good in it has cheese, and if it doesn't, it would taste better with cheese. Cheese. Six, what quote slash phrase do you live by? Wow, I'm hot. I actually do have a quote slash phrase that I live by, but it's actually a proverb. This too shall pass. Favorite words of all time. Why? Because it's true. I just like the stability of nothing being permanent, but also the instability. Wow, I am contradicting myself all over the place. Okay, number seven. What do you like slash dislike about the YouTube community? I'm gonna talk about this in terms of nerdfighteria because I think most of my viewers are nerdfighters as am I. There's been talk lately, and when I say lately, I mean in the last year or so, that nerdfighteria is falling on hard times. YouTube, I think, in and out of the nerdfighter community has become a popularity contest and a really competitive one. Vlogging should be about showing other people what your life is like and learning about other people's lives. You can sit here and watch a three minute video or something of a girl in Seattle talking about her life and then you can go watch a 30 year old man sitting in Indonesia talking about his life for five minutes and and it'll, it'll take you a few seconds and you will experience completely different lifestyles and views and feelings and you'll be sitting in the same place. Sometimes I get too worked up. Okay, my most played song on iTunes. This is really embarrassing and confusing because I swear I have not listened to this song that much. Okay, maybe I had a phase or something, but it's Paper Bag by Fiona Apple. I don't even like Fiona Apple. What kind of style would I describe myself as having? Well, not judging by this outfit, you could probably call me a hipster. Not that I enjoy the term too much. Favorite number, seven. Bet you can't guess why. Number 11, two hobbies. Uh, not dancing. I do a lot of art. I like art. Yeah. I like knitting, too, and sewing. I'm an old woman. Two pet peeves. Okay, when people, especially in nerd culture, say that 42 is the meaning of life. Okay, if you have read or seen Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you would know that 42 is the answer to the great question, and the great question is not, what is the meaning of life? 42 is not the meaning of life. And yet, nerds sit around being like, oh, 42 is the meaning of life. No, it's not. I also hate spoilers of any kind. They're inappropriate. Guilty pleasures. Well, I really like bad TV. Sometimes I even watch like E! Hollywood with my mom. Okay, that was facts about myself. Yeah. Albruni, I mailed your presents today! That's right, you should get it in like weeks or something. And Avery, this is your present. It's here and ready to be mailed, except for the fact that I don't have your address. So you should tell me that so I can mail this. 
And also I got a graphic novel of the Odyssey and I'm so excited. There's a Cyclops on the back. All right, chillins, that is all. Be good, stay safe. Best wishes.